In the world of royalty, comparisons are natural. For Queen Consort Camilla, stepping into the shoes of the beloved late Princess Diana is a challenging task. With the world still cherishing the memory of the captivating princess, Camilla's journey has been far from a fairy tale. Once considered the ultimate villain, she has now earned the title of Queen Consort through a remarkable transformation. However, no matter how much she evolves, one undeniable truth remains. Camilla will never replace Princess Diana in our hearts. There are plenty of reasons for this, and we've gathered 15 compelling ones to explore. Number 15. Camilla was known as the other woman. Amidst royalty, a captivating romance defied norms. Charles and Camilla's undeniable connection persisted, even during Charles's marriage to Princess Diana. Diana famously acknowledged, there were always three of us in this relationship, adding an unexpected twist. The drama unfolded further as Diana confessed her naive belief in Charles's genuine love, but his constant, besotted look for Camilla remained. In a shocking revelation, Charles kept his romantic history with Camilla hidden from Diana until after she accepted his proposal, a bombshell moment. At a birthday party, Diana fearlessly confronted Camilla, declaring, I know what's going on between you and Charles. Camilla retaliated, saying, You've got everything you ever wanted. What more do you want? Number 14. Princess Diana was the ultimate style icon versus Camilla's reserved fashion. Princess Diana was the ultimate style icon, gracing Vogue's cover three times and fearlessly flaunting designs from top-notch designers like Versace, Armani, Dior, Gucci, and Chanel. Her bold and elegant evening wear, along with mesmerizing colors and prints, reflected her daring and confident personality. Princess Diana was not just a princess, she was a fashion icon. Now, on to Camilla. The media hasn't always been kind to her fashion choices, and critics haven't held back either. She's often criticized for her unchanging, middle-parted, feathered hairstyle. Camilla prefers to march to her own style drum, embracing neutral colors, classic styles, and a touch of tradition. Her fashion choices reflect her private and reserved personality, ensuring she feels comfortable and true to herself, even if it means not making wild red carpet splashes. Number 13. Princess Diana was the people's princess adored by all. Princess Diana, known as the People's Princess, possessed an unmatched charisma and warmth that endeared her to people worldwide. Even 25 years after her passing, she remains more popular than King Charles and the entire monarchy combined, leaving behind a remarkable legacy. Incredibly, 7 in 10 Britons still hold a positive view of Princess Diana, with 34% expressing a very positive opinion, showcasing the lasting impact she had on the public. On the other hand, Camilla faced initial public scrutiny as the perceived homewrecker in a fairy tale love story. However, over time, she gradually gained acceptance, especially within the royal family, including Prince William and Prince Harry. Prince Harry's one described Camilla as a wonderful woman who brought happiness to their father. Number 12. A symbol of humanitarianism and global impact. First, we have Princess Diana, known for her heart of gold, iconic fashion sense, and global impact. This princess had it all, a soft-heartedness that knew no bounds, and a passion for charity that set her apart. Over 100 charities were lucky to have her as their president or patron. From Save the Children to the International Red Cross and the National AIDS Trust, she fearlessly championed causes close to her heart. Jet-setting across the globe, she raised awareness and garnered support from every corner. No wonder they called her the People's Princess. Her legacy shines brighter than the stars. Even after her untimely departure in 97, her light continues to guide countless souls to work towards a better world. Now on the flip side, we have Camilla, a lady with her own path, but without the same international fame. Don't get us wrong, she's been involved in her share of charitable work, but her style is more of a silent supporter. Camilla chooses to stand beside Prince Charles, supporting him in his royal duties, rather than taking center stage in the charity spotlight. While Diana's star shone brightly and touched hearts across the globe, Camilla's approach has been more low-key and focused on her role as the Queen Consort. Number 11. Camilla and Prince Charles's Affair Amidst a Marriage Let's go back to the 70s when Camilla and Andrew Parker Bowles had an on-and-off relationship. Then, King Charles entered the picture, creating a love triangle. Their paths crossed in 1970, and destiny had big plans for them. Camilla's relationship with Charles was her way of getting back at Andrew, who had gotten close to none other than Charles's sister, 
Princess Anne. Quite a royal soap opera. Jumped to 1981 when Charles married Princess Diana. But there's a twist. His heart still longed for Camilla, and in 1986, their affair began. However, the public never accepted Camilla as Diana's replacement. The affair during Charles's marriage left a mark that not even the grandest tiara could erase. Number 10. Princess Diana's Philanthropic Powerhouse versus Camilla's quiet and genuine support. In the world of charity and philanthropy, there's one name that shines brighter than the rest, Princess Diana. She was the true queen of hearts, stealing the spotlight from her own husband at public events with her extraordinary charitable work. The public couldn't get enough of her, and for good reason. Diana's philanthropy was a force to be reckoned with. She didn't just dip her toes, she dove headfirst into a wide range of causes. From championing those living with HIV and AIDS to advocating for landmine victims and children in need, this princess was a powerhouse of compassion. And that's not all. Mental health and domestic violence also found their fierce advocate in Diana, as she fearlessly raised awareness for these crucial issues. Now, let's talk about Camilla, shall we? While she may not have stolen the same limelight, let's give credit where it's due. Her philanthropic efforts may be low-key compared to Diana's, but that doesn't make them any less noble. Animal welfare and literacy are causes close to her heart, and she's been a rock-solid support for them. Ah, but you know how gossip flies. Some folks like to whisper about political motives behind Camilla's charitable work, but we're here to put those rumors to rest. There's no truth to those claims. Her dedication to military families, veterans, young people, and those facing addiction is genuine and worthy of recognition, even if it didn't make as many headlines as Diana's efforts. Number 9. Personality Princess Diana was a natural leader and a shining role model. She supported numerous charities and causes, captivating the cameras with her impeccable style and red carpet appearances. Beyond her public figure status, Diana was a devoted mother, determined to give her children a normal upbringing. Her openness about struggles with marriage and mental health endeared her to the world. On the other hand, Camilla has a reserved public persona, but is known for her sense of humor and love of the outdoors. She's approachable, warm, friendly, and funny, a hit with journalists who've interviewed her. While she may not be as front and center with charity work as Diana, she supports causes in a quieter way and actively fulfills her royal duties, preferring a lower profile than King Charles. Number 8. Personal Life Diana's personal life was like a roller coaster that captivated the public. She faced isolation, loneliness, and heartbreak in her marriage to King Charles. Infidelity rumors involving Camilla turned out to be true, creating a royal love triangle that had the world gossiping. But Diana didn't hide her struggles. She was open and relatable, which made her even more loved by the masses. The media scrutinized her life, adding to the pressure she faced. Camilla, on the other hand, took a more private approach to her personal struggles. Although not as open as Diana, she too faced media attention when her affair with King Charles was exposed. Two women, connected by a tumultuous love story, each facing their own media frenzy. Diana, a tragic figure whose openness touched hearts worldwide. Camilla, weathering her storm with a more reserved demeanor. Number 7. Princess Diana was young, relatable, and charismatic. Princess Diana had a magical touch with people. Her enthusiastic approach and body language were contagious. She worked cameras like a pro, using them as a bridge to connect with the masses, making everyone feel cherished. Diana's openness about her personal struggles, like depression and eating disorders, made her even more relatable and fueled her soaring popularity. In contrast, Queen Consort Camilla is more private, perhaps due to her history as the other woman in the breakdown of King Charles and Princess Diana's marriage. She faced a negative public image from the start. However, Camilla has her own way of making a difference and connecting with people. Number 6. Princess Diana was a mother to future kings. Princess Diana, a mother to two future kings, Prince William and Prince Harry, has left a regal legacy. Prince William, next in line for the throne, carries the royal bloodline. As for Camilla, she became a royal by marriage, but she's not directly related to the future heirs. Her connection to the royal family comes from marrying King Charles. Camilla's two children from her first marriage, Laura and Tom, hold their place in the family tree. Number 5. Duties as a royal family member. In the world of royals, where duties and public connection collide, Princess Diana was a master at using her platform for good, passionately supporting charities like HIV AIDS and children's rights. Her efforts earned her international recognition 
and the world took notice. Now let's turn the spotlight to Camilla. She supports charities too, but with a different approach. She prefers the back seat, avoiding the fame and spotlight. Instead, she stands beside King Charles, offering unwavering support in his endeavors. Being a working royal means using fame for the greater good, and Diana owned it. Her passion and dedication made a lasting impact, lighting up the world. As for Camilla, she's got her own style, choosing to support from the shadows without seeking the limelight. Number 4. Princess Diana was a free spirit and fashion trailblazer. Princess Diana was a free spirit, living life on her terms and fearlessly breaking rules. She expressed herself with creativity, making her a true icon. Diana didn't just charm the public with her fashion choices. She was a trailblazer in opening up about her personal struggles, like battling bulimia and her challenging marriage to King Charles. She even set trends by being the first royal to wear denim. Now let's talk about Camilla, queen consort, a more traditional royal. She sticks to protocols and prefers being a silent supporter, gracefully supporting her husband, King Charles. Number 3. Public Acceptance Diana's untimely death in 97 shocked the world. The People's Princess was loved for her charity work and openness about her life and struggles, leaving behind a remarkable legacy. Now, Camilla stepped into Diana's place as King Charles's wife, but they have different approaches to royal duties and connecting with the public. Camilla faced media criticism for her role in Charles and Diana's marriage breakdown, and though she's worked to improve her public image, some still see her as the other woman. The royal world is full of twists and turns, and these two women's journeys are no exception. Diana is forever cherished as the adored people's princess, Camilla, carving her own path despite shadows from the past. Number 2. Princess Diana was a trailblazer for change, whereas Camilla is the keeper of tradition. Next up, let's talk about the royal rebels and the keepers of tradition. Princess Diana was a trailblazer with a heart of gold, fearlessly challenging norms and making a positive impact in the world. She passionately advocated for causes like mental health, HIV, AIDS, and children's hospitals, using her public position for good. Diana led from the heart, not following any rule book. Her compassion and love for people were unmatched, even if it got her into some trouble. Her priority was to bring normalcy to her son's lives, taking them to McDonald's and watching TV together. Now, on the other hand, Camilla is the keeper of tradition. She supports King Charles with unwavering loyalty, embracing her role in line with royal protocol. Number 1. Princess Diana was more humble. Let's talk about the down-to-earth charm that made Princess Diana stand out among the royals. The public adored her because she was genuine and open about her struggles with mental health, eating disorder, and marriage. Diana broke down walls and connected with the public on a personal level, a true game changer. Her public appearances were a treat for the masses. Diana would chat with the crowds, making everyone feel like dear friends. In hospitals, her compassion knew no bounds, engaging in heartfelt conversations with patients. Now on to Camilla, a big supporter of charities but she takes a more private approach to her philanthropy. Following someone as open as Diana might make anyone feel more reserved. Camilla is content to follow royal protocols and support King Charles. A private person, her contrast to Diana's openness is hard to miss. With that said, thank you for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more. And if you found this content helpful, give the video a like. See you in the next video. Till then, take care.